I got myself a Volta equivalent and it's not on me but it's at home and what could it be could it be a wasabi blue nook handle that's 5200 milliamps or could it be the inky falcon gimbal that is also a 5200 milliamps and both of them you know one is a stabilizer built in and it can run just about anything charge the camera stabilize it you name it it acts as a remote control as well well why do i want to get a uh, a volta and how do they come up with the names like that yeah volta means gopro i guess well the main supplier of the company yeah inky got in contact with me and they're sending me an inky falcon plus i can't wait for it oh i'm waiting so patiently I'm waiting for them to email me back again to confirm that they got my message. Well, anyway, what else is on the table? Yeah, I got a nice YouTube studio setup coming along. Beautiful. And you'll see that pretty soon. I'm going to be working on my LEDs and they're going to be a little bit brighter than the one that's out front right now that you'll see in the video. Also, I'm waiting for the LED channels to come and I'm going to finish off the front. Back to the uh, YouTube studio. GoPro, Yee, Samsung, Osmo Action, Aptek, you name it. Oh yeah, that's my thought right now. A little accessories with my SD cards, my thumb bolts. You got it. I'm gonna see if I could get down to the boardwalk again. Coney Island Luna Park opened up. Oh yeah. I had a blast with the Insta 361 XS and Insta got in contact with me. They told me I needed to recalibrate the camera. But why would I want to recalibrate a camera if it came straight out of the box that way? GoPro don't have any recalibrations with the GPS and things like that. Well, wait a second, it does. You got a factory reset all the time. I like the workflow in a way. I just didn't like the work that I had to put into it for 360. I get a shot here, get a shot there, and the camera just wandered. So I'm just thinking uh, out loud, uh, waiting for Best Buy to uh, accept the return. And I should have walked into the store and then mailed my camera back to them. And yeah, I'm going to take that uh, money, but I can't go online. I cannot go to Best Buy and buy Insta One RS, the basic model. And that's what I really want to get. So I got in my possession an Insta360 120 cm selfie stick, an Insta360 78 cm selfie stick. That's the compact. I got the Sonova 3.5 millimeter adapter for the XS. I wonder if I can use it for the Sonova's uh, Osmo Action. And I got the lens cap cover. And I think I got one more thing. Would the Insta 361 RS be better than the GoPro? I think the GoPro is a lot better than the One RS for a number of reasons. Higher frame rate. It's got double the amount. But the RS got 6K versus 5.3K, right? I want to take this video, put it into Resolve 17.4. And yeah, I got the resolution all turned down. I'm just having issues editing. A lot of stutter, a lot of putter. So that's with my X380 Lenovo ThinkPad. I'm going to have to now go over to my uh, Surface Pro 4 and see if it can handle it a lot better because the graphics card is uh, disabled on the uh, ThinkPad. I'm fighting the wind. And I'm gonna probably uh, film on the way back. I'm not even sure, but uh, we'll get going. Park's getting ready to get opening up. The park is getting ready to open up. Next week is gonna be the Wonder Wheel, or the week before. It's coming real soon. 
torrential rains coming so i'm getting out get my exercise and i almost hit that barrel man I, i'm a i'm a pedaling this way and they walk right in front they're like a magnet everything's opening weekends is definitely opening smell the burgers french fries the grease I missed it yesterday. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I shut everything on 4K, 60 frames per second, and uh, high bit rate, uh, EV negative one, ISO 100, maximum 400 sharpness on low. And this shot, I changed linear plus horizon lock to, you got it, super view. Water. GoPro does pretty good giving it uh, the exception nice cool weather and a lot of people complaining that oh with firmware 1.40 it still overheats well wouldn't you get uh, exhausted and hot and want a thirsty uh, drink a cool cold beer or whatever you want on a nice hot day i sure would i don't want to exert myself when it's only 58 degrees or so and the GoPro's on a tripod with the enduro battery and I'm shooting for 10 minutes at a clip I'm not giving the camera a chance to cool down so wouldn't the Volta be what you want spend $130 take the battery out but GoPro stopped all that stuff with the external batteries I had a good time uh, getting out here, relaxing for some, uh, chatting with you all, and sharing the wonderful stories. So I'm going to go head on back, get where I need to be at, and continue on with what I got to do. So I hope to see you on many other videos to come. Well, I'm Fish, and I'm getting on out of here. I won't leave my camera alone right off because I'm afraid somebody behind me or in front of me is going to take the camera <gasps> like so. So we're gonna get on out of here, hop on the bike and head on out. So thank you very much for joining me. Maybe I'll get down here one evening on the safe side and catch Luna Park opening up.